Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to talk about transferring libraries, the block and the fabric libraries in particular, from EQ7 to EQ8. And I'm also going to talk about how to open all these projects from old EQ programs in EQ8. Okay, now that I have Electric Quilt 8 open, I wanted to take a look and see what transferred over and what didn't, and uh, whatever didn't, go ahead and figure it out. So let me go ahead and I'm going to first of all just go to the um, block library, and I can do that by searching for block patterns. And what I'm going to do is I can see right when I'm in the block library that I not only have my EQ8 libraries, I have my block base, um, I have some other purchases that I've done of some of their special projects, the quilt maker design so precise. So it looks like all of my purchased um, uh, libraries have come over. And now if I go into my favorite blocks, there is nothing in there. So that means I need to transfer those over. So let me first um, also go ahead, let me go back to my home and let me now look at my fabric swatches. Um, again, I've got my EQ8 libraries, right? Uh, the fabrics of the month, uh, my Dear Jane and my Stash Online, which were all basically um, add-ons and those came over without a problem. Actually, let me just check on that. Yep, uh, looks great. They're, they're all there. Now, if I did have an issue, I would have used the link library to go ahead and find it and link it, but uh, because I think I put everything where EQ suggests I put it, uh, no problem with that. So what I do need to do is move my personal libraries over, right? So if I go into my favorite fabrics, notice this is um, blank. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go um, to my file explorer. Let's see if I can. And if you if I go to documents, and I go to my EQ. Notice I have a five, six, seven, and eight. Let me go to seven because um, if you look at your user folder, and I'm gonna click on this, these are all of my personal libraries. So if I want them in EQ8, I need to move them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm under user, just going to select everything. I'm going to use the control or the command plus the A key. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy. And then I'm going to go to documents, my EQ8. And now I'm going to go to user favorites. Notice it's blank. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and do paste. And so it's copying them over. Now, if you're never not going to ever use EQ7 again, you could certainly just um, move them instead. Uh, but I can tell everything coming in, you know, they're either going to end in BLK or FAB. Those are all uh, my personal libraries. Okay, let me go back to my home page. Let me go to search fabrics. Uh, and now let me go to my favorite fabrics. Notice we've got my custom libraries. When I click on it, all of my personal libraries have come through. Back to home, search for block patterns, go to my favorite blocks, go to my custom libraries. All my personal libraries from EQ7 are now here. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to do is talk about my um, PJ7 files. So if I will, uh, go back to home and I select um, open an existing project. Now it's notice that it is actually looking under documents, my EQ8 projects. 
I don't have anything there. But I'm going to click down below where it says click here to open a project not listed above. So what I can do is under Documents, I'm going to navigate to my EQ7 and I'm going to go to the PJ7 folder. And here are all of my um, files. So I can go ahead and um, I could click on one and notice it will be, it doesn't really matter if it's a PJ7 or a P7E, um, both come over just fine. And I can go ahead and open that and it will go ahead and open in EQ8. And now if I want to save it in EQ8, I will need to do a um, file and do a save as. And it navigates to Documents My EQ8 Projects. Um, I can put a name on it at this point and save it. If I'm not going to do any work on it, I probably won't save it in EQ8, but I certainly could do so. Um, I can also do the same thing and find any of my projects. Uh, let's say for, uh, let me go back to my EQ5 even. And actually I even have my PJ4 ones. Let me just click on that. And let me just find one of my PJ4s and I'm going to open that. and notice that this one came over as well. So um, doesn't really matter what version of EQ, they all navigate um, into EQ8 without a problem. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like EQ8 training, please go to my website or subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.